Live from an extremely bright corner of Austin, where Ali, Paul, Mike, <laughs> and all of your parents are here. It's going to be a great night. Now, kill off the rest of your Yakuza and enjoy your doorknob flavored Malort, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! <laughs> Beautiful boys. New chin. Who's tall now? Who's tall now? <laughs> yeah, still, I'm the it's same. still Justin. I'm, yeah. Still like, not Brian. Like, uh, uh, hot damn. Hey, uh, if you're wondering why I'm bright red and burned to a crisp, it's because all the sunscreen is in my left eye, which is why <laughs> I look deeply emotional to this side of the audience. He's so sincere. And so uh, uh, uncaring and unflinching to the other. That's right. Cold as a block of concrete. <laughs> well with all of you. Uh, uh, Brett. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. The end. Uh, Justin? No. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, terrible, Brian! Oh, I thought so. It's it's been it's been a, just a misery today. Yeah. What yeah. Was, what, what, what's been the worst part? Uh, uh, not meeting everyone here. What? <laughs> cheap pop, cheap pop, <laughs> cheap pop. Uh, no, it, it, it really this was kind of like a white knuckle thing because we've never uh, done this before. Yeah. You've never done this before. Yeah. Uh, and and things have shockingly not. Ended in disaster. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, and it was at 6.42 p.m. Yep. <laughs> on the day of the event. Seven <laughs> fist fights broke out at once. Wait, why are you worried about fist fights? Whenever I'm like, I, what could I, go I, wrong? I, just, I, I think, think it, of a million different things that aren't fist fights. Why think, are you preoccupied with this? Because it's funny. <laughs> like, Would that be my, the funniest my, way for well, okay, to go wrong? Is, um, Not pie fight? Okay. Uh, my favorite moment of today was when Ali said the sweetest thing. You know, normally I do all the most popular hit. But looking at the crowd, you seem like a deep cut set of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, uh, to me, uh, I, I think I keep saying fist fight because it seems like, uh, uh, because everybody, I don't know, there's a lot of love to go around. And, uh, and that'd be a weird thing. Yes. If someone loves somebody so much that they fought him. God, that's, it's fine. That's you want to do it? Yeah, you want to go? I was going to say. <laughs> Hey, man, I appreciate you. This is a big milestone in your life. Okay, here goes. Whoa! Oh. Couldn't do it, couldn't do it. We tried to punch. Audio listeners. And, uh, a... listeners. and they Jesus hugged. Christ. Uh, uh, what if that's what happened at the end of Rocky II? Uh, it's, it's what happens every Rocky. They, they spend all their time hugging. They do. In the ring. And then they do become friends. And uh, well, after in the next movie, I, I don't know that he and Ivan Drago ever really got on. You don't think so? No. Uh, he but, he did cure hey, communism. Uh, hold though. on, uh, yeah. uh, uh, and that stuck forever wait, in Russia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I do I do want to talk about. You guys hear about like uh, Ukraine? Uh, Syl Sylvester Stallone went back and recut Rocky IV. Yes. To take out the robot fucking subplots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that Paulie had spent his God, I'm, deep, this is a deep cut, Ali. Uh, that that, that Polly had spent his money on a robot and was uh, talking in a sexy voice, and it was implied that he was having sex with. That he was fucking the robot. Yeah. Because that's the thing. When you watch the other Rocky movies, you're like, I really this like this Polly character, <laughs> but like, I'd like it better if his dick touched metal. <laughs> Or, at or least. plastic. <laughs> or silicone. Or plastic. Yeah. It was the 80s. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we are doing a, a special Blitz edition of Great Night. It is. Yeah, uh, do, do we just want to get in on it, or, or, or do we want to keep on talking? On, on <laughs> well, I mean, I when like you put it, it like... I like when you guys keep on talking. Okay. The, 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 the thing that was pointed out to me uh, repeatedly by you, Brian, yeah. is that uh, they do all the work, and I... Add on, but I get to reserve my energy. Yeah, I like that. I yeah, like, I like that. So you would like to not 
do any work. I, and, I mean, no, I'm no. Okay, wait. What are you saying? You're, you're, what you're, saying you're, is, you're, what you're saying a is, shiftless comedic look, layabout. Is what you're saying. There is a reason that the most popular class in Team Fortress is the sniper because you sit on your ass, you just wait for an opportunity, and you go pow, pow, and that's what he gets to do. And then everybody says, "Hooray, sniper!" Yes, yep. you're so good. Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, the grunts are out here dying. Yeah. Yep. One shitty joke at a time. We got, Absolutely. Uh, uh, Wearing his flip flops oh. <laughs> and his sunglasses, <laughs> staring at the sniper greedily. <laughs> like, could you? And I'm like, no, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, we're you got to laugh on that. <laughs> like, like, this is the best gig in fucking show business. Everybody hates the sniper. Yeah, uh, yes, that is true, actually. Uh, everyone hates the sniper. Wait, who was that? No, uh, that, that, uh, wait, that, you, that was you, the heavy. Uh-oh, could you uh-oh, stand uh-oh. up? Yeah, could hold on. Up? Hold on. What the hell's going on with you, man? <laughs> See, I'm still a uh, Yeah. <laughs> I think you somehow uh, killed yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's, too, it's during the daytime. That's what <laughs> okay. it is. It's scaring everyone. Uh, hey, can we take a moment to talk about uh, the most curious aspect of all of this? And uh, yep. I, I, don't, I don't know if he's here, mm-hmm. but... Um, QAnon. What I... <laughs> What I would finally let's get into it. What I would give to know how many secrets Corey has kept from me in the last month. Where is Corey? And today, where is Corey? Where is Corey? Is Corey? There he is. Obviously, all of them. Yeah, all the secrets. How uh, many late, secrets were revealed to you today? Uh, 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 I will reveal two things. Number one, uh, champion of the day, MVP, all day, every day for weeks at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Cranfield, please yeah! make some applause. Well, that's no secret. Everybody and their dog knows that. Uh, also, I'm going to reveal another secret. Mom and Dad, you are never getting your golf cart back. <laughs> oh, shit. Can we talk about this? Yep. <laughs> so, uh, 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 your, your, your mom and dad, who are now sitting front row, uh, intimidatingly, uh, <laughs> they uh, 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 gifted you for this event. It was not a gift. It was a borrowing. Okay. <laughs> they lent. They lent. Yeah. They lent. Yes. Yeah. What do they lend? A uh, uh, golf, golf cart. And uh, uh, Corey, how would you describe his reaction upon first setting his sweet cheeks in that golf cart? Um, I, you know, I, I, I only get to see the outside, which is even then difficult to look at because you ever try staring at the sun? It's a bit like that. But also, uh, I may have seen him get in the golf cart to drive 10 feet and then get out of the <laughs> golf cart. Yeah. Uh, you had told me how much Corey enjoyed the golf cart. Yes. And I was skeptical. Yes. Until I was walking here <laughs> and I see a golf cart tearing, like <laughs> going as fast as a golf cart can go and swerving from left to right. And I'm like, this is reckless. What a ridiculous use of a golf cart. Until I realized what he was doing. He was going from one side of the road to the other side of the road where people were walking to this venue so he could stick his hand out and (laughs) high-five them. (laughs) So, of course, I stuck my hand out and we high-fived. Like, when in Rome. But that man will be probably dead out of that golf cart. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, we have we have a hell of a uh, r- uh, remainder of the show, a remainder of the day coming right up. But for right now, we're going to play one of our favorite games of all time. If anybody is hearing this that is not familiar, uh, quick summary, Justin. Don't get brodied, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> It is the game of competitive storytelling. You are not only telling your best story, you are telling your best story the best you can. The second that our panel of experts, one of them, a single one of them. And there's four of them. We got Bryce in the back, which we, where we're going to see. If any any of the four of us, uh, the moment one thumb goes down, you are out seized. There it there is. There we go. You will hear that. Uh, and then there will be one champion at the end of tonight that will rodeo style have told their story for the longest. But... Uh- it, it, oh, I was going to ask if Tom Merritt was around to keep time for us. Uh, okay, well, uh, Mitsula's got it. Okay. Well, let me just say this. We have not done a live show oh. in how long, Brad? Uh, uh, last one was North Door 2019. Wow. Uh, lots changed since then. Yep. We're a little rusty. And, of course, you guys might not have seen us in a long time or ever at all. So, I was thinking, it's, Brian, I mean, look, I, I'm going to try oh. and ask you this here yeah. live for the first time but what if we started don't get brody tonight where one of us told the first story i think one of the i think it would be great if brett did that 
Ladies and gentlemen, Brett Weaver! <laughs> All right, judges. Thumbs at even position. Timer, are you son ready? Son of a bitch, I'm in. Okay, here we go. And don't get Brody. All right, I'm going to tell everyone the story of how an old forgetting crone sold me an item today for my boudoir. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> So this morning, my dad and I go to breakfast, and I, on Craigslist, I found out about uh, buying a bed for my bedroom. And uh, it ended up I had to go to this person's house. Person wasn't there, said, hey, my mom is there. Why don't you just knock on the door, and you can get it from her. <laughs> So we work our way over there, get there, and, and he's now texting me. She's not answering her phone. I don't know. She's, I know she's there. And so I knock on the door, and this lady, after a good 30 seconds, answers the door. She was clothed. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, damn it. Wow. I knew I should have. I mean, he's in first place. He's like, you know, it'd be fun crashing. Yeah. <laughs> 53 <laughs> seconds we clocked on there. That's a healthy time. That's good. Also, another lesson here for Don't Get Brodied. When in doubt, lie. Yeah. When in doubt, leave it out. Lie, <laughs> lie about the story. Nobody's checking. I knew I should have added my dad to the story, but... He's, uh, right up, he's right up there, by the let, way. Let, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Brett Weaver's dad! Andy Weaver! There he is. There, he is. there we go, the big man upstairs. All right, competitors, everybody line up. We got a microphone right here in the back. Uh, 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 don't be shy. All we're going to do is shame you for not telling a good story. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun time for most. Don't worry. Hold on. We have some, we have some epic competitors oh making my God. their way. Uh oh, uh oh! No, I, I think we have we have a powerhouse. Wow! Here up top, ladies and oh, gentlemen Jesus. from Ice Cream Social, Mr. Paul Mattingly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do I don't get to play right. with the audience? It's just you guys. Uh, well, yeah. You you know what? You do you. Turn I turn mean, it around. Turn right. around. Here, we here, we here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Timer start. Don't get brodied. For ten years of my life, I was a professional Klingon. <laughs> This is the absolute truth. I worked at Star Trek The Experience in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Right. What's and that? We tried our best to maintain verisimilitude at all costs. We were dedicated to the craft. We were performers first and foremost, dedicated to make Gene Roddenberry's vision of a possible utopian future true, real, and earnest for people who came to visit. But often we were required to do bullshit, crazy promotional crap. <laughs> <laughs> Such as when medical conventions would come to the Hilton. Oh, we had to go, Ferengi and Klingon, arm in arm, down to the goddamn medical convention. And we would browse the wares that healed the humans of the poor 20th century that had no proper hypo sprays or med kits or doctors to heal their bodies. And we're browsing all this crap. And again, it's so impossible to try and even just maintain, oh, sure, I'm not going to kill that Ferengi just for standing next to me. When I would, normally I would. That's what I would do. Well, the Ferengis are assholes, and so they play assholes to a T. At this medical convention, there were all kinds of devices, including mobility assistance devices. Rascals, if you will. Large scooters for people of size like myself, or even just people who couldn't get around. So the Ferengi quickly stole a fucking scooter. <laughs> and started careening all around the medical convention. <laughs> Running after me and almost, you know, hitting the Klingon and enraging me. Oh, damn it, I'm shaking my batleth at him <laughs> in absolute fury. But, you know, I couldn't do anything until the guy running the stand where the rascals were said, you want to ride? And I said, yes, human, I do. And so I got on the scooter and I took my batleth, the crescent-shaped blade of honor, and I said, slammed it onto the front bass cart and I held it out and now my scooter was a moving weapon. <laughs> Unstoppable nurses zipped out of the way as I careened down the hallway. The Ferengi turned a corner to see me joust gladiator style. He shit his lobes. He didn't know what the fuck to do. And he laughed so much he fell 
out of the damn street <laughs> as I ran past him, driving and screaming Kapla the whole way. <gasps> and that was a glorious day for the Empire, let oh, me tell yes. you. Kapla! Igloogme Kakjajvam! Igloogme Kakjajvam! Machka! Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, you stuck the landing. You did it, you did it. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen Paul Mattingly. Paul Mattingly. Official time? Uh, yeah, two minutes and 46 <laughs> seconds. So, uh, uh, good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. Uh, 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 give us your name and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and where you're from. Just say you're Zod. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Apparently I'm Zod from Superman. <laughs> uh, g'day, my name's Graham. Oh, Gray. Hey. All right, Gray. Uh, I'm from Australia, if you didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, well, here we go, uh, Gray. Just so we have an official start here. Don't, don't get Brody. So for ten years, I, I I worked in this place called Star Trek: The Experience in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about a story about how I was investigated for kidnapping my wife on Christmas Eve a couple of years ago. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, I, I I quite like my car audio had a good couple of subs in the back, went down to the local gas station, tried to pick up a girly mag and a bit of a drink, <laughs> and drove home. And then my wife gets a call going, do you know where your car is from the local police? Yeah, it's parked outside. My husband just came home. All right, we'll be there in a second. <coughs> Knock on the door. Uh, oh, sir, um, we've been told that you've kidnapped someone in, your, in the boot of your car. Can we search the house? Walking through the house, walking through the back, it, looking through the cars, turns to my wife and says, are you sure you're all right? <laughs> <laughs> Once, uh, apparently the security guard had uh, noticed my subs rattling the boot of my car as being a 20-year-old uh, you know, with big subs in the back and uh, continued searching the house, continued searching my, uh, questioning my wife, making sure that she was okay, whereas I'm pretty sure she could probably throw me in the boot rather than the other way around. And then was very surprised that kidnappers might have Christmas decorations as they walked through their house, being very, <laughs> very surprised and bemused that there was the lights and a tree where uh, the kids out the back chained up in the shed were no problem at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was a good squeeze, good, though. Good try. 128. I'll tell you what, in a normal year, <laughs> that would have been a legend. A very respectable time. If you uh, hadn't gotten Kaplod. Uh All right, here, uh, 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 next uh, next volunteer, come, come on, on up. up. Uh, come uh, on uh, up. Tr turn the mic away from the stage so that it's not uh, feeding back. There you go. All right, there you go. What's your name and where are you from? I am uh, B. Kilford yep. from Illinois. Oh, uh, <laughs> All right, here all we go. All right, B. Kilford, uh, don't, don't get Brody. Brody. Last time I was here, I stole your wife's cupcakes, and she was upset. Uh, right <laughs> now, <laughs> 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 Turns out I don't I don't care for my wife. <laughs> Something you might not know about me. Just All right, who my do we got here? Where you. are you from? I, I feel a lot better about following that. One. <laughs> uh, my name's Josh. I'm also from Illinois, downstate, not Chicago. All right, okay. Josh. Not Chicago. Uh, Josh, I'm just gonna let you know, not a great start. Not a great start. <laughs> Uh, Here we go. Don't get, get Brody. So this is a story of how I killed a man in 2001. Why? <laughs> so I ran an online website boy, 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 uh, boy. back in the days, uh, back in the early days of blogging. Uh, me, my friend Steve, and a bunch of other people. Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. no. We don't care Nobody about Steve. Yeah. No. We don't. He's the one who died. <laughs> oh. That well, does, you that wouldn't have help. known it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who do we got next? I guess that was necessary context. Uh, yeah. But next time, say it with some jazz hits or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, or it was me quotes. and Steve and, and Steve, Steve and Steve. <laughs> yeah. All right, who do we got here? What's your name? Uh, Tommy. Hey, Captain Jack from Illinois. Captain Jack from Illinois. Jesus I'm sensing Christ. a theme. Yeah, everybody's from Illinois. Captain Jack. Land of Lincoln. So Don't get, get Brody. So this is a story about how I took the most, the longest asinine route to fly from Chicago to Dallas. And Jerry, we want to... No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, man. I'm sorry. Let me guess. Did you take a really long route yeah. <laughs> to take a flight? Yeah. <laughs> I will continue while I got Brody's. Uh, oh, thank you very much. All right. Yeah. There is Captain wait, Jack. Wait, Captain hold on. Jack. Captain Jack, come here. Captain Jack, come here. Come here. Hold on. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Go, go to the mic. Was the route long, though? 
<laughs> it was. Yeah, it was did, you, did you go to like one place and then you thought you were going to, yeah. then another, it turned out to be the wrong way. Then you went to another, then then you went to another, another place. Then then another. You're sitting there and yeah. you have to go to another. And then at a certain point you're looking at your watch and like, Shit, this is this long. Is long. <laughs> that is really like fucking that. long, man. I gotta get to Dallas. I gotta, like, well, this is D- Dallas. Yeah, Shit. Dallas. Should take shorter than this. It should. Yeah. All right, all right Justin, you cannot compete. You cannot compete. I was just asking. Okay, I'm a all journalist. right. Captain Jack, Captain Jack. I'm Jack. a journalist. Go. I got a degree in journalism. <laughs> all right, who do we got? Hi, I'm Xavier from a- Tulsa, Oklahoma. Xavier, Xavier from Oklahoma, don't get, get brody. Well, this is the story of a guy named Jimmy. All right. Jimmy was walking down the road one day when all of a sudden he heard a noise behind him. Wump. He turned around and there was a giant coffin with legs chasing after him. <laughs> so he starts running. He's like, I don't want to get t- caught by this coffin. But all of a sudden he hears wump, wump, wump. He turns around. It's still coming. Wump. Wump, wump, it's catching up. Wump, wump, wump. And all of a sudden, he sees this taxi. He's like, hey, I need to get in. I need you to just drive as fast as you possibly can. So he gets in this taxi, and he starts driving. But the coffin's still catching up. Wump, 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 wump. And then the the this taxi, he's swerving left and right, left and right. My heart is screaming no, but my thumb (laughs) remains horizontal. (laughs) That that he crashes at blackout. Jimmy wakes up. He's in the hospital. Third floor, uh, nurse comes in. Hey, we found you in a car accident. And, don't don't uh, we you think dare. You're going to be all right. <laughs> don't you Son dare. Of a bitch. All of a sudden, he walks out the window. He's like, I'm okay. And then at the bottom, he sees walking into the building. God damn it. The coffin! <laughs> Womp! He's like, I gotta get out. So he. No, d- no, I'm killing no, it. I'm no. killing it. Slit in his throat. <laughs> I lasted longer. <laughs> no, you did. No, you did. Also, the, 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 yeah, the very end bit is a cough drop and the coffin stopped. The yeah. coffin stopped! Yeah, very. No. What? Don't You're what? welcome. Come back in here again. <laughs> you knew what was happening? I told you my heart was screaming, but my thumb was unmoved. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, it's the slide with a whistle convention. All right, who do we got here? My name is Shane. I'm from here in Texas. All right, Shane. Shane, don't, don't get brody. So we think it was the uh, super glue that finally killed him. Uh, so, in college, me and my twin brother bred up a third-generation championship racing cockroach. We would gamble <laughs> every day in the square. <laughs> every day in the square in our, in our little college campus there in Waco, we would have uh, we would have cockroach oh, races. All right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would have cockroach races. We would get a hula hoop, put it on the ground. Everyone would bring their cockroach, put it in a jar. You turn it upside down. Three, two, one, go. First one out of the ring wins. Great. Well, we had a particular cockroach wet nurse. Sure. What? Had, Do you had, know what a wet nurse is? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for Just, audio had, listeners, this what? man is wearing a kilt, which makes his very confident yes even more erotic. <laughs> what? We had we had this whole cabal going across campus cabal. for cockroach for cockroach breeding and racing and trading. And it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? The um, <laughs> learning doesn't win you free drinks. Uh, all right, oh, all right. No! you don't insult the judge. You that got was too your cocky. You were doing very good. Yes. All right. And then you started working on your tight five. Real, and uh, uh, real, real quick, uh, a cockroach wet nurse. Yes, uh, I yeah. like that visual. Is it the cockroach or the wet or the human that is lactating? Like, is it a human with oh, I think drippy I, nips and oh, cockroaches no, I thought, around I, it? No, I thought it was another cockroach uh, that they were friends with. That's not what I was thinking. What were you thinking? I was thinking there was a woman. A woman who, squirting that, that, on these that, that, roaches? That, that, she's got a very specific job. Yeah. She yeah. She's a, she, she comes she in, goes, <laughs> I'm well paid. That's, uh, <laughs> I have a very yeah. specific set of nipples. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like an utter delight. Oh. <laughs> Boo, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, I'm sorry. Breastfeeding cockroaches was was super cool. Oh, what a what a Pixar friendly fucking joke that was. And then I make that one, and boy, I've crossed the line. Uh, all right, uh, who do we got? Ban me from the Oscars for ten years. Yeah. All right, who do we got? What's your What's your name? Hey, my name's Herschel. Where are you from? I'm from Indiana. All right, Herschel. All right, Herschel. Don't, don't get, get Brody. Come on, Brody. Come on down. Let's have a talk. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> no, I, hey, 
Uh, I'm I'm here with my boy. <laughs> Unexpected, Brody. Where you at, man? Come on. <laughs> I have the most confused do, motor right do, now. All, all <laughs> due respect. All due respect. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Wherever you want to go, Herschel. Herschel has now turned his back on the mic, daring us to Brody him. And uh, I, got, I, got some, I got some news for you. You ain't going to win. You will beat fucking Paul's record. He's now talking directly to the audience, not on mic. Herschel, Herschel, this is a podcast. Uh, speak on the mic. Here's yeah, you got to talk onto the mic. Anyway, hell yeah. Okay, no, I don't want. I want to use. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, okay, no, come on. No, Can we no. be serious for a second? For real. Stop. No. Everybody, stop fucking around. Seriously. Seriously. I love you, man. I don't know you, you guys. I know. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I don't guy. give a hoot, Brenda. All listen, right. Good thing. Brenda's good. I don't give a hoot, man. You know, you know what I mean? You gotta be you. You gotta be free. <laughs> That's yeah. true. I've been Hell through, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna tell you what, I've been through. Has anybody ever had hepatitis C? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. <laughs> seriously. No. Uh, no. Has anybody ever had half the pancreas cut out? All right, timekeeper, please, oh, please no, tell me. No, seriously. <laughs> oh. Oh. For real. How many? Has anybody ever had half the pancreas? 128. 128. Oh, has anybody, a big. Has anybody ever had a heart valve? I got a pig valve, all right? <laughs> I had cancer in my neck. Hey, I'm a survivor, man. Why are we here? We want freedom. We love oh, There we go. Hey, you know what I mean? It's yeah. all about good time. I, it is. I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I, I on your me. feet for the I'm most legendary. But we gotta be free to All right, we're, we're actually gonna need a hook at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Herschel, thank you very much. Big round of applause one more time for Herschel. Dude, Herschel, champion. Let's get, let's get our next uh, our next storyteller. All right, who do we got down here? Yeah. That was hold on. That was fucking surreal. That was an amazing moment. Uh, it it is a once in a lifetime experience. By which I mean, I hope it happens once <laughs> in my lifetime. Yes. <laughs> who uh, do we got, sir? Who are you? Uh, Matt York from DC. All right, Matt. Don't, Don't get, get Brody. Have you personally ever swam with sharks? Have you ever? Tried... Am I being detained? No, 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 no. I'm just asking. First of all, because second Why of all, have you have you ever been in charge of multiple 17-year-olds who also decided to swim with sharks? What's our What's our take on rhetorical questions? Uh, have you done it? Purposely? I don't know. What is our take on rhetorical <laughs> questions? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. so as a 17-year-old, I was stupidly placed in charge of a bunch of other 17-year-olds to, like, 13-year-olds, let's say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm, oh, sorry. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> what I an mean, a ramp. very important detail, and again, everybody's coming rusty except for fucking Paul. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh, in telling these stories, uh, details, sand them off. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Children, right. we're swimming with sharks. That's all that matters. Uh, who do we got here? My name is Dalton. I'm from Abilene, Texas. All right, Dalton. Dalton. Don't, Don't get Brody. Have you ever seen your pregnant wife get in a fist fight with about four bikers? <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, but I and am when? from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it starts off in Dallas where we snuck in to the VIP section of a Green Day concert. All right. <laughs> How we did that, I have no earthly idea, but we managed oh, go, it. Go, 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 A biker bumped into her during, I, th I don't even remember what song it was. No! And then, oh, no! No! Oh! You, Brian, but Brian, uh, dude, you just lot. like if you start that story, your pregnant wife has to get punched by by uh, <laughs> the first minute. Like, all right, who do we got? 
Hi, my name's Eli. Um, last time I did this at TAOM and I sucked ass. So uh, I'm going to try second time. Uh, okay, uh, here we uh, go. Here okay, we go. well, uh, Eli, Eli, don't get broded. This is a story about how one time my mom and all of her cats almost got killed by an alligator in our backyard. Mm -hmm. So we were living uh, down in Clarksville. It's this neighborhood in Austin. Uh, we were renting out the place. And next door lived uh, a college frat. Um, we had a, a college frat. Uh, a bunch of 20 year olds made a lot of noise, kept us up all the time, and they were kind of assholes. But one of the guys uh, was friends with us, and um, he liked us a lot. And uh, he liked to play uh, pranks on us, and one of those pranks involved this. One day, my mom woke up in the morning, made breakfast, and walks outside. I'm eating breakfast, and I. Let me guess, there's ah! a fucking alligator there! I, she, see, she starts yelling for all the pets to come inside, tried, and there tried, is a hyper-realistic, hyper-realistic, acrylic, acrylic alligator. She's like, no, no, bring the pets in, bring the pets in. There is an acrylic yeah, no, okay, AR. All right, all right. Yeah. Hey, tried. Eli, you didn't really eat shit this time. <laughs> you didn't, no. You nibbled. You just slipped in it. You wafted. <laughs> you slipped in you it. You were running really you fast, though. But yeah, but it was good. All a right. good one. Who do we got here? Eli, everyone. Eli. Eli. Eli, take the mark. Hello, I'm Amos. From Amos, Alaska. where are you from? Alaska. Alaska. Cool. Amos, don't, don't get, get brody. 2010, South Korea, Gunsan City. Lots of bars. One in particular called the Flamingo Bar. My friends and I like to attend the bar on a regular basis. It's a juicy bar, which means that if you pay the right amount of money for certain drinks, you can have company with certain women for a certain amount of time. <laughs> I am known for getting a little too drunk and being very generous with my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> juicy. juicy. This, this particular night, the bar was kind of packed, but they had a special room in the back that was just for parties, but it wasn't being used. Us being regulars, we asked, hey, can we squeeze on in that room right there? And the mama-san, which was the, the head of the ladies that sit by you and have drinks, she was like, sure, you guys can go there. We get in there, and I decide, you know what? I'm going to buy a round. I buy a round for me and my friends. Mama thinks I bought a round for the whole bar. Oh. Oh. So we're waiting for a little while, and we're, we're drinking soju, which is amazing. Yeah. Mama comes up to me. Now, at this time, we've got quite a few juicy girls in the in their little <laughs> private area because all of my friends are into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they were. <laughs> Mama comes stop, up to stop me. Stop crying, Brian. Yeah. Ma it's Mama, Mama comes up to me. She hands me the bill and says, I need you sign. Okay, cool. I go down. I, I start to sign it. I look at it. It's $1,500 for drinks. Mama, I say, for fifteen hundred dollars. Dialogue. That's a, that's a good yeah, move. That's a good move. Yeah. Fifteen hundred dollars. I'ma see some titties. Uh, uh, I'm not uh, a little problematic on this. So, yeah, it is 2022, himself. but go, 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 fast. Keep going, so keep going. it's not. We're not canceled if you talk faster. <laughs> so, so she brings over one lady and says, "Show Ob, which is my name in Korea. Show Ob your titties." And I was like. <laughs> She, I was like, okay, cool. I said, uh, -uh. That's, that's two impressions. Uh, yeah. I, I said, I, I said, mama, no, 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 no. Fifteen hundred dollars. I want to see all <laughs> of the titties. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Right. Where, right. Yeah. Uh, Turns out right. it's a cockroach yeah. wet nurse. <laughs> but, but you didn't get. Let me get to mama. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. we're yeah. trying to protect the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's terms of service, sir. <laughs> we're trying to protect the. Pa I mean, and <laughs> how long did we make it? 213. Wow. Wow. wow, that was close. Oh. That was close. I mean, but also it's like like that's the most impressive place to stop it, right? Because either you saw the titties or you didn't, and I, I, now I, I, everybody I, I, just yeah. believes that it's, you saw the titties. It's in the past. It's in the past. Where, oh, he's where, staring me down like I fucking robbed him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, 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 sir. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Derek. I'm from Austin. All right, Derek. Don't, don't get, get brodied. This is the story of how I didn't beat a man to death. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm camping at a festival. It's 4.30 in the morning, covered in mud in my underwear. I crawl into my tent. Someone tries to break in. 
Break they, in? How do you break into a tent? They unzip the unzip tent, the they're making themselves at home. Sure. So Before that, I know that it, means every time I take a leak, I'm breaking into my fly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. Got to yeah. do a little smash and grab exactly. if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got to seize some family exactly. jewels. Grand theft penis. <laughs> <laughs> and yet the goods were replaced just as they had been sitting. I got to liquidate safely. some assets. All right. Go. Uh, Only slightly. So somebody unzipped your fly. Dead. So before I know, we're wrestling around in the mud. I crack him over the head with my flashlight. Right. Oh. And he, he's out. So I get up, call security, tons of cops show up. Yep. Right. I'm standing with one, telling my story. And he says, we appreciate you calling us. Glad you didn't beat the guy to death. But next time this happens, here's what I want you to do. And he leans in really close and he whispers in my ear. He says, next time this happens, I want you to pull them in close and I want you to say, okay, I'll get the lube. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's it. <laughs> A full and complete story. We always appreciate that. What is our official <laughs> full time release. here? Full release. 118. All right. 118. All right. So not, not right. On, Who do we not, got not, here? Not on, right. not on the board here. I am Kevin from right. Texas. Kevin from Texas. Yeah. Don't, Don't get brody. This is the story of the craziest man I met while working for my college. So freshman year, I start working for my college, and I am in the lab, and I hear an alarm go off. And I think, mm. why is there an alarm going off? In yeah, I'm the sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jacob. Yeah. One day, I was in my car, and I went to my house after driving <laughs> on the road, and I ate some bread. And I thought to myself, is this really my is house? It, <laughs> is this my yeah, is this my beautiful wife? <laughs> All right, so one Jacob. night I was breaking into this tent. <laughs> <laughs> it was very uh, simple, very easy to do. Let's all, right. all get a big round of applause for Jacob, Jacob. from Ice Cream Social. All right, all right. Celebrity right, don't get Brody. Don't get Brody. So this is a story about weird animals. Years ago, I, I, I'm, a, I'm an audio guy who shows, I do all this stuff. There's a story about weird fucking animals that I've dealt with in the past. Years ago, I'm working in this theme park in Georgia, southeast Georgia. My then girlfriend, now wife, comes with me. She's working with me there's all these fucking animals around now that we've got all these animals around you gotta have something to do with the animals when they're not in the park the thing that they did with the animals when they weren't in the park here was there was this fella named tony tony ran a farm outside of the theme park about 500 acres tony was a great guy he used to be in chicago on broadway now he runs a farm in southeast georgia so he's running this farm so in southeast question. georgia we're down there with him he invites us down to the farm to have dinner he's an outdoor dinner table we're down there we're sitting at the dinner table at this farm in southeast georgia and all of a sudden there's something on the back of my head i turn around it's a giraffe a giraffe was chewing on the back of my head while we were all sitting out there then tony says okay we're gonna walk around the farm now we walk around the farm a little bit we're having a good time tony's showing us everything he goes okay now we're gonna go see the monkey cages now, I don't know if you know anything about monkeys or monkey cages, but monkeys are fucking crazy. Monkeys are crazy little, like, small, tiny little children that run around and just do whatever the fuck they want. That's what monkeys do. So we get over to the monkey cages, and Tony says, don't get close to the monkeys and do not make eye contact with the monkeys. They're in cages for a reason. My girlfriend at the time, now my wife, says, okay, great. We're walking along next to the monkeys, and there's this adorable little monkey. I think it's a gibbon or something like that. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know anything about monkeys. It's a monkey. That's what it was. So we walk up to the cage. We're looking at this gibbon and my wife keeps getting closer and closer to the monkey. She gets a little closer to the monkey. gets a little closer to the monkey and the monkey is smiling at her. I kid you not. The monkey is smiling at her. It's laughing a little bit. It's making all these cute little noises. The monkey gets, he's like enticing my wife to get closer and she falls for it. So my wife gets closer and closer to the monkey cage. She gets closer and closer, and then BAM! The monkey reaches out and slaps the shit out of my wife. <laughs> Full open hand slap, then the monkey falls on the floor laughing at itself <laughs> and at my wife. That's how bad monkeys are. Stay the fuck away from monkeys! Woo! Jacob, wow. the motherfucking audio guy. Don't get close to monkeys. Don't get, listen to Tony. Two twenty-seven. Very good. Very good. Second place. 
All right, uh, 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 all right, we got, we got two more, and then we're out. All right, who are you? Where are you from? I get to follow that up. Uh, I'm Brent Coffin from Indiana. Brent, Brent, don't, don't get, get brooding. This is how I almost blew myself up and brained my dad. Brain. Yeah, read a Brain. fucking oh. medieval novel. Oh. I'm a guy who has a lot of hobbies. One of them was bladesmithing. I was interested in it. Got a kit, got the forge, lit it up. Nothing's happening, it's a campfire. You're right. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. We still All love right. you, Brent. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I'm I, sorry. Our, our final competitor! Kent. Who are you, where are you from? I'm Kent from New Mexico. And All right, Kent. Don't, don't get brodied. So this is the story about how I almost got shot by Secret Service. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the year was 1996. I was a brand new airman in the Air Force. I was stationed at Hagelin Air Force Base. And this, was, unfortunately, was the time when uh, Bill Clinton was president and um, he came to visit our base. Well, anyway... I was, like I said, a brand new airman in the Air Force. I was really eager to please, wanted to do everything right, do everything above and beyond. Problem was, I wasn't real bright at the time. So I didn't pay a lot of attention to details back then. So anyway, the, the uh, presidential support team came in ahead of the president, so they bring all of their aircraft and everything. All of that is a, is a Class A resource that requires protection by Secret Service. So we've got Secret Service everywhere. I work in a hangar. I, I, I was an air, uh, aircraft weapons guy, so we had a hangar that we worked out of. Anyway, so there's a, <laughs> there's a Secret Service aircraft in, in my hangar, and it has a red rope around it. I went out there to see if they needed any help with anything. They're like, well, it's getting dark. We need to get the lights turned on. The light switch was on the other side of the red rope. Uh, I said, okay, cool. I'll go turn on the lights for you. Step across the, the rope, and I hear, stop, as he's grabbing for his gun. Wait, is this the same guy that told you where it was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've I've got this crank in you, man. <laughs> exactly. I've got one, one leg over the rope, freaking out. He looks at me. I'm looking at him. And he goes, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Ah! Shit. Kent. Kent. All right, our final official time. How long? 137, and that means our official winner, our professional comedian. <laughs> uh, ringers, ringers, ringers. Oh, yeah, do we know three? Do we know who was third? Amos was third. Amos was third. Where's Amos? Where's Amos? Where's Amos? See, congratulations! He Amos! saw, he saw, he saw the titties there of victory. It is. Yes, the bronze medal of our first uh, uh, in in many many years. Don't get Brody. Yeah, one that will live. Felt good. In felt good. I feel, I feel like we're making master storytellers, or I at least like I, I feel like we are. Yeah, are we good? I, I think yeah. I was second to last in this. I, I wasn't keeping track. Okay. Well, I, uh, <laughs> Guys, uh, 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 Brian, how are you feeling about oh my God. this, uh, this I, night? I, I, the sun I, I, is setting I, I, behind us yes. uh, spectacularly. I'm feeling like I won't look like a, a piece of beef jerky anymore, because it'll be dark. <laughs> uh, but uh, most importantly, I'm excited that Jomo and the Possum Posse are coming up. Yep. 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 Uh, and uh, we're, about, we're about to have a special treat to wrap up the show. Oh, do you know? No, I don't. Oh, oh yes, we do. Yes, I do. I do know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, how many people uh, uh, are aware of the, the show Great Night? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, because we were the other day we were going to the show and we thought, I don't know, where is this our show? Is this are people going to know who we are? <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 well, then you know that every episode ends the same way with with the lullaby. Uh, but first, of course, we have to find out what did we learn today, Brad? Well, we have learned today that you don't want to get Brody. You just don't. And also, uh, don't get close to the monkeys. Come on, people! <laughs> don't get close to the monkeys! David Jones is a real piece of work. He'll take you down. <laughs> that's, right. that's, uh, what, that's what we learned. That's what we learned. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can we please welcome back to the stage uh -oh. Mike TV. Yeah! Uh, I think you did the thing. 
I, I think he did the thing where he's not here. Did he mic TV and not be here? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's okay, man. It's me out here on mic hey, TV. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh uh, shit, shit, shit. Fuck, fuck. Oh, no, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Fuck, I'm not here. Fuck, shit. Oh, damn, fuck. Damn, uh, oh. No, man, I was, I was No, 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 I swear to God, I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the, the lullaby. <laughs> I'm all the sunlight because oh, the, the, the shade's all dappled. Anyway, yeah. Oh, sh I know, but you had me to play before sundown? <laughs> you know I'm a vampire, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll dissolve, dude. Fuck, shit. <laughs> all right. He's uh, going. Here, we, we, uh, uh, here he is, live from recorded cyberspace. <laughs> I don't even know if we have that queued up, do we? We'll, we'll just wrap it up and we'll say, uh, everybody, put them up. Diamonds in the sky. <laughs> Still a great night. Still a great night. Uh, uh, shine on, you crazy diamond. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>